Hey, Sarah, how often have you had to deal with insecure men who felt threatened by you? And how do you deal with them? First, I stay with them for several more years. <laughs> and then I uh, learn to minimize myself as much as possible. Or <laughs> um, I can learn to not do that behavior anymore, which is what I'm trying to do and what I feel like is working out well with my current lover, Rory, which is seeing someone who is fine with it and not just fine with it, proud of me, tickled by it, thinks it's neat, um, does not measure his worth against my job, you know, is my biggest cheerleader and I, he. And I, he, what am I, uh, Shakespeare here? Because it's interesting. I'm attracted to masculine men. But what is that masculinity? I think that sometimes insecurity can be misconstrued as masculinity. Rage. Um, a, a, a temper that comes out of nowhere that I can't um, ever be prepared for. So I'm always pre prepared for it. Those things are not uh, masculinity. It's insecurity. It's um, a lack of self-examination, maybe. Uh, but those aren't... I, I mistaked those things. I, I was mistaken. I mistook those things for, for being drawn to a masculineness. I'll tell you what masculinity is right now to me that I'm attracted to. Rory just built a table saw. That's hot. That is so fucking hot. You know, it came in a million pieces. He read the whole manual, digested it, learned how to build it, and then fucking built it. Then decided it should be on wheels and bought wheels for it and put them on. I find that to be very masculine and I'm drawn to it. I'm attracted to it. Does it mean that a woman couldn't do that? Of course not. Not what I'm saying, doll. But that is a goddamn man. It's, I find it hot. You know, that's like my stepdad uh, was like that. John O'Hara, the greatest, greatest man. A Marine. And then he uh, got out of the Marines and... Uh, became a logic and philosophy professor, a quiet man, but said what was on his mind if need be. But besides that, sat in his chair next to the wood stove and read books and loved us. Built my the bed I slept in my whole childhood. Built stuff with his hands in the garage. Big brain also made stuff with his hands. It's cool, and I loved him for it. And I always think of him, you know, uh, at 11-11, I think of all the people I've lost, and I remember little snippets of things so I can really, really remember them, their voice and everything. And the thing I remember, John, is he'd always, uh, you know, he'd side hug me because, you know, he was like that kind of generation. He'd give me a side hug, and he'd look down, and he'd say to me, I don't care what they say, I like you. And I always thought that was so funny.